What uh-huh. you've done this? Yeah, yeah, I did it. They called the Royal Variety Show. Yeah, where you perform in front of the royal family. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's quite it's quite a, it's quite a strange gig. Yeah, that's yeah. very that's yeah. way way weirder than the fashion one. Yeah, yeah. I mean. It's weird because everyone is just watching them to see if they've laughed, and if they've laughed, they feel comfortable to laugh. And but I've also performed for Charles at his house in front of all of his staff. You performed just for King staff. Charles at his home. At his home, at, it was Kensington Palace when he was still living there, and he asked me to come and do his Christmas party. And it was me performing for him, Camilla, and then thirty of their staff, all of the like butlers and comedians maids. do corporate events. This is a different level. Unpaid corporate event. Unpaid as well. corporate. So what? You're just doing jokes and he's laughing, or he was laughing at some of it. He let's role play it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Buckingham. Here we go. It's one of my favorite comics from London. It's uh, Mr. Jack Whitehall. He, he was also sat in a. It was like a throne. It had sausage a high fingers. back chair in the, yeah, his sausage fingers. I uh, did not mention the sausage fingers. Yeah, uh, he was in a throne. He was in a throne. He was what? Sat in a throne. Yeah. Wait. So you're performing for King Charles at. Buckingham Palace, yeah. and he's in a throne, in a and throne. you're literally the, a jester. At the front. I was the court jester. And, did you say that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> did he laugh? Yeah, he did. He, 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 has a, he has a pretty good sense of humor. That's crazy. And he was, he was, he, and he, do you know what he said to me afterwards? He said, oh, you were, you were a lot better than the contortionist that we had last year. <laughs> the gentleman tried to clamber through a tennis racket. I didn't really like him. Oh my god! And I thought that that's a that's a tough a tougher gig. A contortionist. A contortionist clambering through a tennis racket. Oh my god! Um, but yeah, that was one of the weirder gigs I've ever done. That is crazy. Andrew would have liked a contortionist. Of a yeah. certain age. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> that will go down very well. It would in London. Yeah. Really, Andrew Jones. Yeah, that's a weird. Andrew Schofield. Andrew, yeah. that's a weird situation. Yeah, we don't need to get into that. We don't. Get Wait. Into so, that. what's Harry Styles like? <laughs> that's a weird segue <laughs> than what we had earlier a little weird yeah yeah he's great and yeah. <laughs> not like Andrew at all <laughs> when did you become friends with him with Harry Styles um when he uh and well, actually one of the times that I met him in the early days was on that role variety show I was hosting oh, wow. and, he, and I came out dressed like him yeah um in a onesie Sparkling yeah, ones, yeah, here. with all the tattoos yeah. and a and a plunging neckline. Yes, uh, but yeah, when he was in One Direction, he was 